this month, WNEP opened its new news bureau on Public Square in Wilkes-Barre. This newsroom allows us to be right where the news is happening in the Wyoming Valley. When creating the layout of an office, it is important to consider workspace design and the furniture that the employees will use on a daily basis. So we visited Creative Business Interiors in Wilkes-Barre to find out what the latest trends are for the workplace. Well, a lot of times people will come to us and they'll say they need office furniture, but they really haven't thought about what office furniture can do for them. The office has changed. It's changed dramatically since I've been in the business. I first started in the industry in 1975, and I've seen tremendous change. This table is adjustable from oh, a very wow. low position, and then if you feel as though you need to get up and stretch, you can get it all the way up to the nice. top position. Some people like to work standing for a while, sitting for a while. And what about this monitor arm? This is pretty funky. Well, it's pretty cool. You can share information, and you can also turn it to do all kinds of different things. It's almost uh, uh, iPad-like. Mobile devices have changed things tremendously. Uh, the way workers work today, it's totally different. Before, workers used to work in isolated cubicles and offices. But today, there's a lot of collaborative work that goes on. So offices need to be looked at differently today. Sometimes if you're sitting in an office for such a long period of time, you could get very uncomfortable. If, you get, if you're sitting in your chair day in and day out, eight hours a day, you need a very good chair. Don't skimp on the chair. Yeah. Buy the best you can That's buy. True. The more comfortable people are in their offices, the better they're going to work and Absolutely. you know for individual work and for the company as well. One of the areas that uh, Creative Business Interiors is highly involved in is in higher education. This is the node chair. This is wild. And you can have a lot of fun with the node chair but yet it's very practical. This is awesome. Look at this. It's so smooth. It's designed so that it's very movable. It's, it's on wheels. It has a, a base underneath that you can put your book bag on or your backpack. You can hang it off the side of the chair. You can move it around, change it. Professors are now freer to roam around the classroom. They're not going to be worrying about tripping and Absolutely. things like that. And it's, it's you, you look at this and it's, we've had chairs forever. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's amazing they could come up with a new design on a chair, but they've managed to do it. And, and that's what research is all about and uh, coming up with products that really help, uh, whether it be a company or whether it be a university. You know, we have a lot of older offices, and as a result, as technology advances, people really haven't kept up with the furniture to support that technology. This is a product called Mediascape. Typically, if you go into a meeting and everyone has a computer, let's say, right. with individual work that you want to share, typically there's a projector. Mm -hmm. Now, Jackie, I have something I want to show you, so now I have to unplug plug into the projector. Hopefully right. my computer's been set up properly that you see my image. This product is it's very simple. It's designed to uh, use what we call a hockey puck. Oh, look at that. And the hockey puck comes out wow. and it plugs into your computer. That. And it's designed to work both with Mac and window based. People can bring technology in, plug in and with a push of a button, their information is on the screen and it's easily shared and collaborated. I like this furniture as well. It's very like it's not cumbersome at all. It's very light. It, it, it is very light, and it's designed with what we call a live back. Yeah, it's like bendable. <laughs> it's bendable, and it's as people move around. That's neat. And uh, it's designed specifically for conferencing and or uh, or training, but uh, it, it's just another product that Steelcase came out with uh, after researching how people work and what's going to make them comfortable, and uh, it's kind of fun. It's cool looking. After checking out all the cool gadgets and innovative furniture, we sat down with Valerie Flame, who works as a project manager at CBI and had designed the layout of our new news bureau. The biggest thing that we, we first started with was the uh, number of people that you needed in the space. Mm -hmm. uh, you needed the five people, right. so we needed five desks. We meet with the clients. Um, we try to get all as much information as we can. Uh, we ask a lot of questions, uh, but we also measure the space. We try to visit the space so that we can see firsthand, um, you know, any obstructions, any focal points, uh, anything we want to focus on, or anything we want to hide. Right. Um, so we went out to the site. We took measurements. Uh, we come back and we put it into AutoCAD, um, as you can see here. We lay out all the symbols uh, for our furniture based on the sizes. The last thing you want to do is have your furniture not fit. Right. When the people came in from the station, they liked the, uh, the ottomans that we had in the front, so we duplicated that in the purple space here. So these are a side chair. Uh, the green ones are um, task chairs uh, work, you know, where the workers would oh, sit. Oh, okay, yeah. 
you know, the red indicates the, the dust space. After taking all the factors into consideration, Valerie made two designs for the office. So we really just played around with a couple different options, trying to lay them out in a manner that would allow for adequate walk spaces and storage needs. You can see some of the spaces, they're, they're facing each other, some they're facing away from each other. Right. Um, and it's just, you have a variety of people working in the space with variety of needs. Right. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to accommodate um, everyone in the small space. Back here, there is like a little meeting space. The, the oh. red is a little table, and then this purple is another ottoman. And, nice. and the ottomans are kind of meant to move around the space, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that you can use them in different ways. Same thing with the, the drawers. When we go over there, you'll see that the drawers underneath the desk have cushions on top of them, so you can These double things. them as a chair. And they do have casters, so they would roll around very That's easily. That's a great idea. It is a uniquely shaped uh, space. We do have some columns that we had to work around. Um, there was the studio space that we had to accommodate for. So that, you know, on this drawing, there's a, a blank space, but that's where all of your you know, equipment's going to go. Right, right. So it narrowed the space that we, you know, we had for the actual um, working space. Coming up, the blueprints become a reality as the newsroom's furniture gets moved in and installed. We'll show you the beautiful transformation when we return. Lyra Greenberg, Newswatch 16, reporting live from the Wyoming Valley Newsroom in Wilkes-Barre. When we visited Creative Business Interiors about furniture for our new Wyoming Valley Newsroom, Dave and his team of designers went to work. On a rainy afternoon in downtown Wilkes-Barre, they rolled up their truck and a crew of installers began to work on the bureau. set up desks, ottomans, bookcases, chairs and tables before carefully cleaning them for use in TV news. Well here we are in the Wyoming Valley newsroom, the finished office space. Val, this looks fabulous. You did such a good job. It's Thank so you. funny to see it from the blueprint finally like come to life here. So uh, why don't you take us on a little tour? Sure. This is where we saw in the blueprints uh, a little collaboration area. You can obviously see it from the window, um, from the square. Right. And we had little pops of color with the red to, to blend in with everything else. So as you see the workstations, each workstation has kind of its own little uh, tweak to it. Um, this one has the ottoman mm -hmm. by it. The storage cabinets are made out of metal, so you can see that these cabinets have a attackable surface, but that could be moved anywhere into the office just by a, a magnet. It can also be turned horizontally or vertically. When we started selecting the color palette for this, we knew we were working on a lighter floor. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to go with a, a darker color to contrast the, the floor and the, the furniture. And then we knew the Newswatch 16 has the red colors. Right, so right. we popped out the, the colors in the chairs and then some of the ottomans you see in the red color as well. The product that, that was chosen it would allow for touchdown space, meaning if you're a mobile worker or if you're in and out, uh, you have a space to touch down in. And here's another workstation, and this is Sean Dunn, who is our IT person, and he's going to have a satellite office here. This piece is actually a storage cabinet with a, a cushion top on it. Nice. So you have your storage capabilities in here, but then you also have a seat that someone can sit on. Oh, that's nice. Or you can wheel it around and use it wherever you yeah, need to you use it. Yeah, you could actually use them over here at this little workspace the with table. the ottoman. Very nice. Here's that area where the they were facing each other, the two desks we saw in the blueprint. Right, now this allows for some collaboration. The screen's low enough that they can still sit in their chair and talk comfortably over top of the screen, but then still have their own privacy. Considering the space that, that your studio is in on Public Square, a lot of people walking by, you want it to look right, you want it to look techy, you want people exposed and, and you see cool furniture. That's what the intent was here. See cool furniture, see people, see how they work, and, and that's a lot of fun. 
For more information on creative business interiors or the furniture in our Wyoming Valley newsroom, visit wnep.com/hb.